Alright, now that we finally have the King's Pass, we should be done with all the side questing for right now, anyways. We will fly back to Area B1, and you might remember how we had problems getting into the Quivering Forest, but with Lord and Spectron wanting us to find the Ancient Wizard Lair, and we just, well, we couldn't find it. Well, how do we get into it, you wonders? How do we get into it? Well, we can see that it's off to our east. I was gonna say west, but I'm assuming it's off to our east. Let's head to Erlequin. But not go in. And let's camp here too, because if we're going to head into the Quivering Forest, we are going to need all the health and magic we can scrounge because we are heading into a new area, and we don't know what's inside. Armor... I'm trying to let R Rigel... 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 Whatever. I'm trying to let him take care of the buffs at the start, because we gave him a sorcerer's robe, and it gives him an, a little extra boost to his spell points. So, to balance things out and make it a little fair. Let's cast... Oh, we can't cast that, so let's cast Teleport. Let's head east. Two steps. Cross your fingers. Where are we? Ah, we're right on the outskirts of the Quivering Forest. And I think this is the Ancient Wizard Lair. <laughs> oh, that's the Caverns of Erlequin. Ah, I see, so you could have just headed through the head through the Caverns of Erlequin and end up on this side, and you'd be inside the Quivering Forest. Alright. I guess we didn't need to wait until we cast those spells in the first place. Well, wish I would have known that earlier. And everything's running away from us. That's because they're smart. Also, that ring mail that we gave Sage, uh, that plus three ring mail that I showed you earlier, makes him much, much faster. And it makes him a lot easier dodge blows with. I'm not quite sure why, but I've never had any luck with turning undead on phantoms. So, if you ever see a phantom, don't waste your mana on him. Her. It. Whatever. And we'll cast a little bit of acid rain. Only 44 points of damage. Wow. Demons don't like acid. The reason why I'm casting acid rain is because instead of fireballs, because it's noticeably a lot cheaper now. Fireballs starting to get to the point where it's like, you know, it's becoming like 10, 12 mana per cast. Acid rain is just, well, maybe 8, 9. And it does just as much damage and it affects more targets in the back row, so it's a little bit more attractive. -like. Kill off the phantom. I don't like leaving them dead around because they have, usually have draining effects on them. Though, interestingly, even level drain, I am rather surprised to say, even level drain doesn't seem to hurt you that bad. It's just only whenever you're inside of a fight that it'll drain you and it'll affect you. And of course, if your level goes down to below level 1, you're dead. Not eradicated, but just dead. Still trapped. There we go. I can understand how they can trap like treasure chests, but one thing that always puzzled me inside this game is how they lack how they manage to trap leather sacks. Oh well, whatever. Count. Oh, come on. This is cake. At times like this is the reason why you're glad that you're a cleric. Cast Deadly Swarm because Deadly Swarm not only affects everybody in the back, it affects everybody in the front. It spreads around a lot of damage, and against creatures like this, which just have low health and they just sort of swarm you, it's nice. It's very nice. It's very good. I'm sure, you get some wise acres that still think it would be a good idea to stay alive, but. 
get rid of get rid of the vast it rids itself of the vast majority of them. Let's cast some massive rain again. Ah, oh, love that acid rain. Very good spell. And it will never go up inside of spell cost either. Always, but unfortunately never goes up inside of damage either as well. A bit annoying in that regard, but... Whenever you... Most of the creatures that you encounter, you know... If they need a fireball, you're in trouble anyways. I meant to use go after the gargoyle first because they have an annoying tendency to paralyze. Die, swordsman. You don't belong in this world. But yes, yeah, so all I'm really doing in this installment is just running around trying to find the ancient wizard's lair. Which apparently, I guess, if you as long as you can survive through caves of Earthwind, you can get here. As early as you as early as you darn well please. Wish I would have known that earlier, but I will. Down you go. I say, crazy kook. wondering why I'm not healing my characters after the fights? Well, because right now there's not so much to worry about. And because if I cast a single Moonbeam spell, it not only will eliminate my enemy party pretty much, but it will also heal my characters. So that's the reason why I'm not looking for doing that to just quivering forest. It's a crazy place. You're gonna be bumping your head into a lot of trees. You might as well just face facts right now. And try not to get lost. Ah, uh, this is running a bit long. I'll check to see how much time I have left after this fight. If this is just gonna be more of the same every single time, I'm going to probably off-screen this until I manage to be able to get into the wizard's lair. Because, as it is, you know, all these fights, it's just a little, it's just more of the same, more of the same. Druids. It's weird that they have the druids here as a creature that you can fight, but they don't include the druid until much later on inside the series. Like, the druids come into play in Might and Magic 3. They don't even come around inside Might and Magic 2, I believe, as a selectable party member. The only new addition I believe that they have would be Ninja class. Ninja. Don't choose to be a ninja, you're an idiot. Whoever got that reference gets a gold star. You can see just how damaging our spells are becoming. 49 points for a single lightning bolt, and then it affects through three people, and then you add into the fact that a fireball does that much damage, or has a possibility of doing that much damage as well. Very nice of them. Ah, lordy. Okay, yeah, I'm going to just off-screen this. Um, I'll see you next time whenever I manage to be able to find the correct pathway through the Quivering Forest. If you get lost, try to use your auto map that comes with it. Um, I don't know what else to say, really. Because it's just, uh, it's Quivering Forest is just pretty much a maze. I'd like to know what kind of forest fills in like this, but whatever. <laughs>